welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a raccoon using colored pencils. This is not any ordinary raccoon. This is Rocket Raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is a true story. We have raccoons living in our attic right now and we're trying to figure out how to get them out of there safely. I'll keep you updated. So we will be drawing the raccoon using pencil and I'll show you how to draw it using simple shapes. Then we will be drawing over our lines with a fine tip marker, and this is a fine tip permanent marker. We'll erase our pencil, and then we will fill it in using colored pencils. So we'll lay down some of the base colors, and then we will use a lighter color to blend them together. You just need some basic supplies for this tutorial. Paper, and I'm using Bristol paper. You can use whatever paper you have, but I like the finish of Bristol paper more. Color pencils. I'm only using these five colors, but you can use as many or as little as you want. I will put the specific colors that I'm using in the comment section below. You need a pencil and an eraser and a fine tip marker. This is a Pigma Graphic pen and they are awesome. This is a number one. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle for his head. After you draw your circle, you're going to draw two triangles off of the side of it with kind of softer edges. Then you're going to divide that circle in half. Then you're gonna divide this bottom section in half. And near the middle of this bottom section, we're going to draw his nose. So just draw a circle for his nose. Then you can draw a line up on the left side and go ahead and put his eye in. Just draw a circle. And then on the right side, you can draw a line up. So we have our two eyes. Now let's make these eyes look a little bit more like raccoon eyes. We're going to add a little bit of an eyelid and bring it down. So starting up and it's kind of going down almost like a, a sad eye. It's coming down into a little point in this bottom corner and in this bottom corner and then back up. And then you can put a circle in there showing the round iris and then put another little circle for a highlight. So you can just thicken up that bottom line and we'll leave a little bit of white in there as we shade it. In the nose, let's go ahead and just add a few little details, cut it not in half, but almost in a third from the top. Come down, draw a little circle in on the left and a little circle in on the right. And then just add a little one in the, the center. And this is going to be pretty dark in here, but we can see just a little bit of this. Then underneath his nose, you can just draw a line straight down. You can put an indication of a mouth in there, like a little happy mouth. Draw another curve under the bottom. And then you can draw an indication of his chin underneath. So we're just gonna add a little bit of some fur coming up. I'm just gonna add a little bit of an indication of it with my pencil. And then it comes around a little bit in front of the eye. Put two V's in the middle of the eyes. And then this dark shadow, once we come in around the eye, you can just add it coming out into this shape. I'm just really drawing like grass with my pencil. Come into this side, add the little indication of the fur. And we are going to make his forehead just a little bit smaller and also have it dip down just a little bit. Before we get up to the ears, let's draw the second highlight. So this is the white part now that's coming up and around his eyes. And it just tucks behind this front shape. So we're coming up, almost like we're drawing like a, an eyebrow over this eye. And then it comes around this shape and now let's draw two ears and they're on the side They're not on the top. How do you make sure they're on the side? Well, just make sure it starts to dip down before you draw them in and go ahead and put one shape in It's kind of flatter on the top and then more curved on the bottom and you can add a little bit of fur in front of the ear right here and then just a line indicating that th this shape actually goes in. Then add a little bit more fur on the side coming down into this shape. You can definitely add more of the fur also when we use our pen over the top of this. All right, now start over here on his neck and we're just going to draw a loop that comes down like this. Try to make it even, mine's not very even. Once you've got that shape in there, go ahead and bring a line that comes a little bit in and then straight down. So it's like we're drawing a line that's getting bigger, almost like we're creating a triangle in here. And then we're dropping it down. This is like this metal collar that he has on underneath. And then on this side, just drop down a little bit. And this is going to be part of his vest that he's wearing. Comes out a little bit past his ear, then at an angle in. And this side does the same thing. So we have this piece of armor, it drops down. And on the bottom of this one, there's just a little point. Let's draw a little square in the middle with a little shape on top and then on bottom. Then you're just gonna bring out two little posts almost, then a line and a line, and then you're gonna bring this shape back up into these top shapes and cut them off a little bit before they get there and then make this a little bit shorter. And again, the, you could probably draw this like a billion different ways. So if you have a better way, go ahead and do it. And then I'm just gonna draw a little indication of the side of his vest right here and on that side. 
And then underneath, there's just a piece of this leather. I think it's leather that's coming down. So we're just creating a stripe in the middle here. Draw another shape that's coming to the side right up out of the edges of it. And just another shape that's coming down. And then he has just his arms that are coming out of the side. What you wanna do is use your pen to go over the lines that you wanna keep, and then we'll erase all of the lines that we're not using. And I'm going to start in the eye because I'm actually going to draw my black in right now. With your pen, fill in any of the areas that you know are completely black. After you're finished drawing in the lines that you wanna keep with your pen, erase all of the pencil lines with your eraser. After you erase it, you might see a few parts that you missed. So go ahead and go back in and you can fix some of those. Also, like for me, I made his ears look a little bit too pointy, so I'm just gonna come around them, make them look a little bit rounder, just by adding a few more lines. And also, you know, you can bring some more of the, this fur out if you want it to be a little bit more exaggerated. Now let's start with our color pencils. We're going to start dark to light. So grab your black. And above the eyes, for sure, is one of the darkest areas that there is. And then it gets a little bit lighter as it goes out. And as I'm drawing, I'm kind of moving in the direction, almost like I'm moving away from the center right here. Everything's kind of moving away from it. And so what I'm going to do is just use my black to fill in some of these darker areas. And I'm not pressing hard. I'm just pressing lightly. So the areas that are going to be a little bit darker are above the eyes, inside of the ears, under the neck, and then in these shadow areas on the arms. So I'll just fill them in lightly with my black, and then I'll show you how to add some of those darker areas in. Be careful also on the nose. I, you need to make sure you leave a little white area for a highlight. Then come back in and just press a little bit harder over some of those darker areas in the ears, under the chin, and on the arms. Then grab your brown and we're going to do the same thing. So there's a lot of brown up here on the ears, almost making like these two light stripes down the nose on the side of the white highlights. So we've used black for the first layer, dark brown, and then I'm coming back over it with a cool gray, adding some of that texture in a little bit, just coming right over the top. And I'm just adding some of the fur texture before I come in with the white. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our white and we're going to start blending these together. So I'm just starting right above the nose. And when I use my white, I do want to go in the direction of the fur. You can see that it's blending them together and it's getting pretty gray. You can bring some of that into the outside edge, into these white areas if you'd like. And basically what this white is doing is it's blending all of those colors together, which means I probably need to come back in, you know, with a few of my colors and darken up some of these areas that we're losing as we're doing this. And one thing that might happen, which usually does, is you'll lose some of your lines, you'll lose some of your shadows. But that's okay, because now we can just add a few more details in it. I'm gonna add the line of this fur back in here and add some more shadows inside. Add a little bit of a line under the nose. And I'm just gonna lightly use my black underneath the nose and then my white so that I can get a shadow under there. And now we're working in layers. So I can add blacks back in, browns, and maybe in these layers, I don't wanna blend it quite as much. I wanna keep these lines in here. Just showing this texture. So he does have some whiskers. We're just gonna put some dots in here. You can come in with your brown. You can add more around the nose. I'm lightly now with my brown just kind of coming over the top and adding some of this fur texture. Now let's work on his vest. This part's really simple. We're just going to be using black and orange. And these parts, we're going to be using our gray and white with a little black actually. So on this part, we're going to take our black and shade it almost all the way in, leaving a white stripe on the inside. So leaving a white stripe here and then on the inside of that one. Take your white and add a little bit of it to this front edge. Then take your gray and color in the rest of the bottom. So just cover over the black and maybe over the top a little bit where it goes into the shadows. Then take your white again and come back in. Keep that highlight. Use your black to redefine any edges you lose. For this metal part, we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna use our black to add a little bit of shading in this area and up on the top, and just to add a little pattern to it. So I'm almost just drawing right around the edges of it and putting a few little details in. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just take the white and come around these edges to just add that shiny element to it. And then you can just use your white over the black or you can come in with your gray. We forgot a little detail on the side, so I'm just gonna come back in with my black and draw in some of the details on this and add them back into here. Let me show you the areas that are black first. And then there is a orange piece over here that we can see. I'm just gonna put it in right now. Now grab your orange and I'll show you these different pieces that are orange. 
I'm gonna redraw in some of my lines that got lost a little bit. And then we're going to fill in some of these areas. So like under here, this is more of like a black gray. Also, you can smooth out the bottom a little bit if you want. And that's it. You can add some more shadows, some more highlights. You can add more details. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Maybe you're going to see this movie this week. If you are, I hope that you enjoy it. It's a good show. I don't know. Also, one last thing that I forgot is this is definitely going to be dark underneath his mouth. I hope you enjoyed drawing this with me. I hope you learned some techniques for blending colored pencils. Even me, I drew this and I mine looks totally different the second time that I've drawn it. So don't get discouraged if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. I hope it doesn't. I hope it looks better. So thank you so much for joining me on Mr. Otter Studio. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned a few colored pencil techniques. I hope you enjoy the movie if you're going to see it and that you have a wonderful day. Also, I will keep you updated on the raccoon in the attic situation at my house. Have a great day. We will see you around on YouTube.